Hey guys, good morning. Sorry I'm late. Afraid I got lost on the path of life. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. So, out of the box, we have the limited edition Black E version of the Super Saiyan 3 Vegito by Kong Studios, now known as Beast Deity. But, is it worth the price? That is a strong possibility. Flawless. Black cards, black cards, all black everything. Real quick, don't mind the lint. I was trying to wipe down the figure and the fibers from the wipes got stuck onto the legs. So that's why it's there and it's hard to get unstuck. I mean, that's not necessarily entirely true, but his outfit is truly mostly black with the exception of his white boots and his white gloves, which are very nice looking by the way. And his nice orange undershirt, which unlike certain other Vegitos that I know, doesn't have blue bleeding through the orange. Just saying. Brother, this guy stinks! Anyways, besides the colors, this figure boasts the sculpt that you generally come to expect from a standard 3.0 figure. At least, well, at least a standard 3.0 Gohan or Goku figure. Well, I guess that's not entirely true because the gold standard for the 3.0 body at this point in time is probably that DF Forever Martialist Goku. And trust me, a review for that is coming. That's what she said. <laughs> Anyways, I digress. Oh yeah, how could I possibly forget this? The hair on this figure is arguably the best out of all the Super Saiyan 3 figures that Kong Studio has released thus far. Don't at me. You want beautiful golden locks like this lady here and Vegito? Well, look no further than L'Oreal. Our triple action formula works to target follicles and have your hair glistening and reflecting light like this schmuck hair. Remember, you gotta use a super shampoo if you want super saiyan hair. L'Oreal. Now back to our regular scheduled programming. And the sculpt for the hair is also damn good, but we all know it has its flaws. <laughs> And I'm not gonna lie, the plastic smells kinda like, I don't know how to explain it, like tangy or plasticky. I know that's weird to say <laughs> that a figure smell tangy, but like it has that tangy plasticky smell. That's the best way I can articulate it. Reality is often disappointing. And you know, I was gonna get into Zahans next, but nah, bring that ass here, boy. Heavy as the head that wears the crown head ass. Head heavier than my entire body head ass. I can't whip my hair back and forth because I'll break my neck head ass. All jokes aside, I'm sure you get the point. The hair is super heavy. And the reason why I'm harping on this so much is because in the initial promo photos, like in the prototype stage of this figure, it was completely able to stand on one foot with the hair up in the air with no type of assistance. and I can't get up and then when we get the hair like and you'll see in these clips that I have on the screen like like when we get them in hand these things is not holding up how they supposed to right as you can see they keep on falling there's only one pose as you might have seen that I could get it into a, a pose where it won't fall over is what I'm trying to say I guess at this point, and that was like a really shrewd balancing act, you know? I had to really work for that pose just to get it like that. And you know, it's really disappointing. Is it a deal breaker for me? Personally, no, because I'll always be swapping out the heads and whatnot. And I'll be putting heads on this figure where, you know, it's not necessarily gonna be heavy. And so, you know, the figure without the heavy head, like the body functions fine, but if it's a deal breaker for you, I wouldn't blame you for it. Like if it really bothers you, I don't, that's no, not a, I wouldn't blame you for it at all. But if you were to pose this figure in a more expressive way, you know what you need? The hands. You get fists, martial arts pose hands, hands throwing up them C's, karate hands, open palm hands for slamming God's faces into the ground and hands for charging up that old reliable. As for his faces, you get a serious face, a gritting teeth face, a face that you make when you're about to get that and of course a Dragon Ball staple 
a yelling face. Room. Stop! Oh yeah, and I almost forgot the halo. I don't know why I always forget that accessory. I guess because I, I don't care too much for it, but it's there if you want it. Room. Shambles. As for your mixing and matching, thanks to my good man AFFM Customs, we are able to take something like the premium Bandai exclusive Super Saiyan Blue Vegito head sculpt and put it onto this figure. And I have to say, looks pretty good. As for the rest of the head swaps, we have the Super Saiyan 3 Vegito head sculpt on here, you know, non translucent. And of course, we have the Super Saiyan Blue three Vegito head sculpts on here and they both look solid you know I would still say that the translucent Super Saiyan 3 hair looks the best on this figure but moving forward so this is not really a kit bash per se but it's gonna go here um basically this is the Vegito figure using the DF Super Saiyan 4 sword swiping effect and it looks pretty good he could get about I would say 70% of his hand in there 60-70% of this hand in there, and it works pretty cool. Wanna see me twist into a pretzel? Pause. To the top of Vegito's head, he is about just shy of seven inches, and to the top of his forehead, about five and a half inches. Here, Vegito is next to Tamashi Nation's Ultimate Gohan with the DL Customs Gohan Beast head sculpt, as well as the Tamashi Nation's Dragon Ball Super Broly Vegito with the Kong Studio Ultra Ego head sculpt. Here we have him next to the first. Uh, issue of Super Saiyan God from Tamashi Nations as well as the Dragon Ball Super Superhero Piccolo. So here Vegito is next to the Mafex Space Jam LeBron James as well as the Mafex Black Suit Spider-Man. Last but not least we have Vegito next to Full Power Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly and regular Super Saiyan Broly from Dragon Ball Super Broly. I will be right back with Bombastic's final thoughts. Woo! So, final thoughts, am I right? As far as aesthetic goes, 8.5 out of 10. I think that golden translucent hair takes it to a whole nother level, especially when paired with the black. As for accessories, 7 out of 10. It's nothing crazy that we haven't seen before, but you know, it'll do. And for articulation, I was gonna give it an 8 out of 10, but the head makes the fun fact that this figure go down a lot because you know the head makes it so it's not poseable without a stand because the hair is just so heavy so seven out of ten but other than that the body is really functional now with all that being said would i still recommend this figure is it worth the price heck yeah because unlike a lot of other kong studio figures this figure didn't go up in price in fact it went down in price it's 49.99 on 5k toys right now if you wanted the figure so I, I still think it's a still, if you could get over the head being, or the hair being heavy, then you good money, you know? And with all that being said, I have to say thank you as always. Thank you for watching the review. You know, I try, I know it's been a while since I put out a review. It's been a long time. Um, it's just that, you know, I, like coming up with a script and trying to have my review stand out from other reviewers because you know I'm trying to get to that to those 200,000 views 600,000 views with my reviews, you know So I'm always trying to make my stuff stand out from other people, you know And sometimes I ain't I'm not even gonna lie to you like my production quality isn't high as some other reviewers which is why I try to put in memes and um, you know pop culture references, but that's not to say the production quality is terrible But it's just you know on not on that same caliber 
But, you know, as always, you know, I'll put, you know, like, comment, you know, if you want to donate to support me, here's, I got my cash up at some point on the screen. And until next time, like once again, I'm very appreciative of anything that you guys, you know, likes, comments. If you decide to donate money, you don't have to, but if you decide to, you know, it's there. And until next time, this has been Bombastic Plastic. Stay fantastic and look forward to more reviews.